on October 20th, 2552, five ODSTs were deployed in the city of New Mombasa. Though originally told their mission would be to infiltrate a Covenant assault carrier stationed above the city, they were redirected to the planet's surface at the last second, just as the enemy ship bugged out. Covenant just set off a nuke? No. The carrier's going to jump. With New Mombasa shattered and in disarray, these five ODSTs attempted to find their way back to their captain, the only officer Veronica Dare, and complete the mission they were originally sent to do. This way and stay quiet. But who were these brave five? At the head of the pack was Gunnery Sergeant Edward Buck, a career Marine who served against the Covenant as early as harvest in 2525 and as late as Reach only weeks prior. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B-Net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. Then there was Corporal Taylor Miles, or Dutch as his friends called him. Heavy weapons specialist and a man of deep spiritual convictions. Next in line was Lance Corporal Kojo Agu, or Romeo for short. Deadly and proficient with the sniper, despite being a little unruly with his mouth. I take it back. Navy got his butt kicked. Hey, Romeo, remember when I told you to shut your mouth? Yeah? Consider that a standing order. And in the cockpit, Private First Class Michael Crespo, or Mickey, an experienced pilot and a dedicated soldier to the very end. To round off their squad was the Rookie, a mysterious Lance Corporal who, while having served only a half decade before, had seen some of the bloodiest battles against the Covenant the UNSC had ever waged. Upon being scattered across the city by the slip space fallout when the Covenant's ship jettisoned away, both Buck and Dare initially found themselves near each other. But as Buck would make his way toward Dare's position, he would be too late, only to find Romeo and the likelihood that Dare had been captured or killed by the Covenant. With this dark possibility in play, Buck considered scrubbing the mission and conducting a search for the remaining Marines in his squad in an effort to exfiltrate the occupied city. I'm on my way! On the other side of the island, Dutch found himself in the now barren Uplift Reserve, a wildlife preservation besieged by the Covenant and the original LZ for the aliens now departed assault carrier. Dutch managed to find his way to the makeshift rally point, the front of the local Oni Alpha site at the south end of the city. At the same time, Mickey had forged his own way through the urban sprawl, eventually linking up with Dutch and fighting alongside the NMPD as the Covenant bombarded the Oni building with every infantry unit they could muster. Failing to protect the building and its extremely sensitive information, the two Marines were directed by local command to ignite a series of charges which would destroy the Oni site and halt the Covenant's efforts to seize it. <laughs> this day ain't turning out so bad after all! Unbeknownst to Dutch and Mickey, below the Oni building was the superintendent's mainframe and the very thing the Covenant were frantically searching for. The two Marines had unwittingly opened the front door for the Covenant to what might be humanity's only chance for survival. 